project is to trim down this rose bush and see if we can get that weed tree out of there. Alright, I'm halfway through. You can see how much better it's looking already. Cleared out some of the underbrush as well. Not uh, anything close to the ground, but a lot of the weeds that were tall that were growing in here. And then cut off some of the weed tree branches to make it easier to get the roses done and then uh, hopefully get that dug out later. So now it's on to the other side to clean it up. You can see how bad it is compared to the first side with all these dead rose hips and being massively overgrown. And that's what I've got off that side. And it looks like a lot less than it is because I cut it up into tiny little pieces. And it took about an hour to do that side. So I think it'll be about the same for this side, I hope. Today I got the peas planted. I planted Cascadia snap peas and Oregon giants, both which are really good in my area. Then in this section, I interplanted carrots and radishes. And on the other side as well, we just have this covered right now because uh, the squirrels like to go into the beds and mess them up. And they've messed up my carrots so many times that it's no fun. So uh, my husband's going to break these wires down a little bit better so that we can use it a little more effectively than we have it right now. This is just from what we've had before. And then um, I ran out of uh, steaks. And we just happened to have a bunch of Dairy Queen Blizzard spins in here to mark the rows. So I'm um, going to do parsnips. Uh, in this section it'll be uh, English parsnips. I can't remember what I'm planting on the other side. It's a different type of parsnip. One's a little bit more slender and the other's fatter and not as long. All right, over next to the peas, I got the sweet sunrise strawberries transplanted from one of the pools in the front. That was the one that was completely overgrown with grass. So I managed to save these. They're really sorry looking, but I'm hoping they'll come back. Strawberries are pretty resilient and I've had a hard time killing them. <laughs> so I, I just, you know, they'll take a lot of neglect until they won't. So I think I've got them in time. Maybe not to have any flowers this year, but at least I'll have the plants. But I'm hoping for flowers. Today I got the huge pile of weeds loaded on the back of the truck along with the two brush piles. And this is how much I actually moved. A whole pickup truck full. And that is the rose trimmings. And the only thing I didn't put on this truck myself was that giant kale plant. So I didn't want to take the time to cut it up. And then there was a good chunk of rose bush that we cut down that was too thick for me to cut it up because I don't have any loppers or I can't find them. But everything else in here I moved myself. It was a lot of work. I took a lot of breaks, but I got it done in about four hours. Okay, for our goal today, my son and I are going to try to get these weeds out and turn it back into just dirt. Alright, so we got most of it done. Still a little bit on the edges. See, we got uh, the beans supports taken down, but we're losing light. So um, I'm filming now and then. They're over there because we're going to reuse them when we move them. Alright, so there wasn't any work done today because of the rain. But uh, we still got an awful lot done this week. I can see that there's a few little weeds that we missed in the far area. I'm not sure if it shows up. But um, they'll come out with a garden rake because the soil is so loose now from everything we've done in it. But uh, 
still looking like a mess up here, but we'll get to it. We just got to get that done so we can get the beans and the corn planted at the right time, which is probably still uh, two weeks off, but we need to spread manure and uh, work it into the soil and stuff. And right now, let's see, it's Saturday evening and we won't be able to work on it again until Monday because it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow as well. But that is a garden update for the week.